guys, it's Nicole, and I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, a lot of my friends um, have been asking how we are able to survive on one income. And I just wanted, I just jotted, it's late at night, I took off my makeup and everything. I just wanted to um, let you guys uh, know a few things that I jotted down real quick. The first thing is I always sell something once the kids outgrow it, or once I clean, um do like a spring cleaning we have um garage sale sites online now so i try and sell as much as i can to get a little bit of money to repurchase something but usually i will put that money straight into savings so um for example i just sold some baby clothes that the baby outgrew and then i put that money right into actually our vacation fund so um, we have uh, different savings with different uh, things, like one just a straight savings, and then um, one like a vacation savings or something that we're wanting. I usually tend not to buy unless items are on clearance. And uh, date night, we used to do date night before um, um, we had to start living on a budget. And our date night actually turns into date morning I guess you could say so we do go out and we do take time for ourselves but it's usually breakfast because breakfast is cheaper uh, than it is to eat dinner and let's see here I dye my own hair which I need to but I dye my own hair and I'm actually um, attempting to uh, give myself um, a cut as well and I will let you guys know how that goes, or I guess you can see it um, on uh, my videos. And uh, on the children's haircuts, because you guys know I have uh, four boys, three uh, get haircuts. We tend to either my husband cuts them. Um, we just had my brother-in-law cut one of their kids' hairs. Or we have a friend. So we usually try and cut the kids' hair ourselves. My hubby actually watched a YouTube video as he was cutting the hair. Because, you know, boys, if you mess up, you can just shave it. Um, we try to limit their haircuts at a salon to five to six times a year. So we will um, wait as long as we can to get them a haircut. Um, my second to youngest is actually growing his hair out to look like if you guys ever watch Walking Dead Carl. So... We got pretty lucky on him. I do price match all the time. So anytime I go grocery shopping, um, Walmart especially will, um, if you bring the ads, they will price match. And um, if you price match and you have a coupon, you'll get it even cheaper. So anything I do, I always go through the ads um, and then you shop at Walmart or Aldi's is a new store that I really love. Um, usually I will cook at home, so that saves us some money. If we do go out to eat, which we're not perfect, we do splurge. Um, I'm not like one of those Amish people that, that don't spend any money on anything. But, so we do go out, but, um, I tend to try and look for places that kids eat free. Usually it's, um, one kid per one adult to eat free. And, of course, the baby eats free, so I'm pretty lucky on that. Um, if we go to theme parks, the zoo, we went to the zoo not too long ago. We pack our own lunch and our own water bottles. So if we um, get discounts for a theme park even, we bring our own stuff, plan ahead. Um, I don't wear makeup too often at home. Since I'm a stay-at-home mom, I'm not like the others where I want to look... Uh, Usually my hair is up or just straight down. Um, I haven't done anything to it. It's just um, out of the shower. I just let it air dry. But um, for my makeup anyways, I do not tend to put it on anymore. I used to all the time and I'd go through makeup quickly. So now that I don't wear it as much, it actually lasts me longer. So it, it lasts me twice as long than it normally would. So for example, foundation. It could last me um, six months to a year versus two to three months because I tend not to wear it um, as much at home. Unless we go out on occasions and things like that, I'll put it on, but um, all natural at home. Or I just will put on half of what I normally do. 
Um, so, example, I'll just put on eyeshadow and mascara versus all the face stuff. Just things like that. I just kind of like to ration it out as much as I can. Always look for BOGO sales. Buy one, get one free. Um, right now, we are currently trying to um, buy the three older boys sneakers right now. And so we are going to a place tomorrow that's called the Rackham Shoes. And it's usually buy one pair, get one half off. So I like uh, deals like that or buy one, get one free. So we always are on the lookout for sales like that. And uh, the hubby and I used to go out uh, and treat ourselves, especially every other weekend. Um, we like to go to our favorite hangout, a bar, and just have a few drinks. We have limited that tremendously. Um, what we usually do is we uh, get the kids to bed so we don't have to, one, pay for a babysitter. We have a few friends come over, um, make our best friends and stuff, and they come over and drink. And then uh, we play games like poker night, things like that. And we usually have it um, quarter hands instead of like a dollar a hand. We pay a quarter a hand, so we always save our quarters um, for that. But yeah, we we tend to, and and we have limited ourselves a lot. Like um, we used to be crazy before the baby baby, but um, yeah, maybe once a month we'll do it. Once every two months, just depending. But and yeah, we will go out, you know, for a date night, you know, late at night or something. We won't eat. We tend to try not to eat out, but we, I mean. Like I said, we're not, like, limiting ourselves completely. This is just um, what works for our family and uh, to make us enjoy life a little bit better. I also do at-home jobs like um, market research studies. So, um, for example, um, I did a diaper study, and I got free diapers for two weeks. So, hey, free diapers. And I had to do my review on the diapers, and I got paid $125 for two weeks of whip using the free diapers and then doing a review on them. So, and I've also done other ones that I can't get into details because I have to sign a um, confidentiality notice, but it's more like um, McDonald's or smoothies. I taste tested them. Um, I don't do, like, any medicines or anything, so it's more of just, like, a... I did one for chilies. I did basically, you know, just stuff that's safe. I, oh, uh, Gatorade. I tried their G2 to see if I could tell the difference. So, um, I did uh, a couple last week, and it's not all the time. It may be once a month, once every two months, two a week. So, I did two a week. I made around $250 last week. And I put that straight in our vacation fund to go to um, Florida. So, uh, that was great. I didn't have to use any income um, as as well as I'll sell stuff like online too. So, um, we make uh, Kool-Aid, um, teas, which actually my family don't really like or my hubby don't like tea. But I, I used to make tea all the time. But I usually make um, Kool-Aid. It's cheaper for us. And let's see here. I shop at discount stores and buy in bulk. So discount stores meaning like all these uh, Dollar Tree. And then I buy at Sam's or Costco. We actually got lucky and mother-in-law put us on her membership. So we don't have to um, pay for one. And um, don't be afraid to accept hand-me-downs. Like at first, um, like my mother-in-law brought us like um, stools. For the um, kitchen, like, bar area. And I was always like, well, you know, I don't want to accept. It looks like we're taking stuff. But um, they give it to you because they love you. So if somebody's coming to you without you asking and giving you something, don't be afraid to accept it. We always accept donations as far as if... And it's usually mother-in-law. She'll, like, if she goes to um, Sam's and buys a bulk... Um, well, she used to do this. She stopped a lot. But she'd buy um, a bulk of toilet paper. She'd give us, you know, a package out of that. Or, um, um, like, toothpaste. She'll buy, like, a huge pack of toothpaste and give us one. So, um, yeah, don't be afraid to accept uh, hand-me-downs. And let's see here. Also, um, don't be afraid. Like, my in-laws invite us at least once a week over to eat. 
dinner. So I love it because um, that's one day that I'm not having to cook and I can save that meal or that meat for the family. But what I do in return for her is, for example, she loves coffee. And so um, not too long ago with couponing and discounts and stuff, I had a stockpile of coffee. And so I will bring stuff like that over and surprise her. <clears throat> and let's see here. Plan ahead on everything that your family does. For example, the vacation. We planned ahead. We are planning ahead uh, six months. So we've already booked, um, you know, the hotel, paid for the, the hotel. I mean, everything plan ahead because you get it cheaper. Or you can see what days are cheaper. Um, we tend to deposit money into the savings every single month. There's not a month that we have missed out. Sometimes I do it a week if I get, like, the market research studies or sell things. Um, anything that we buy, we do not buy on credit. We buy everything on cash. And we went through, I think, almost four or five months without a sofa. A lot of people don't know that. We did not have a sofa. And we actually sat on the floor and just put blankets down. Um, so we uh, bought the sofa. We saved money and we bought it cash. Also something, our TV, when we moved into this new apartment, was on the floor. A lot of people don't know about that. So we did save our money for a really nice TV stand that I wanted that has like a little built-in fireplace that actually has a heater. And um, we saved for it. So we... we um, we go without until we can pay cash for it. Nothing ever, ever on credit. Currently right now, which is going to change a little bit, but currently right now we are using one car, so gas only in one car. Every few months we call cable, cable internet, cell phones, etc. to see if there's any promotions going on. For example, a uh, cell phone, my husband just got us more gigabytes for the internet for the same price because they offered another promotion so it was the same price we're getting more internet um, I tend to unplug all cords every single night including chargers uh, my hot water thing just anything I'll just unplug it or at least try to unplug things like that and um, instead of flying we tend to drive on vacations or outings with the family just anything we will drive Right now we uh, are taking a sacrifice living in a small apartment because our dream is to buy a house and I'm not settling for anything but a dream house. So we are sacrificing to live in a small apartment. I tend to air dry a lot of our stuff, especially comforters. I don't air dry towels, uh, shirts, school shirts to make them last longer and not fade but um, and to save energy from the dryer. I shop at the dollar store a lot, which you guys know from watching my other videos. Um, we paint our own furniture. We actually got a um, dresser from Ikea for really cheap because it wasn't painted or anything. And then the hubby painted it black. We also got a uh, hand-me-down um, toy box. The hubby painted himself. So um, we, it, when we buy the furniture, like I said, we'll, um, we'll fix it up ourselves. I tend to buy chicken and meats in bulk like at Sam's and I will put it uh, portion it in Ziplocs right when I get home and put it in the freezer so enough meat or chicken for a uh, dinner for a night. Um, if vegetables are going bad, I will tend to freeze them and then put it in a stew like carrots or things like that. And let's see here. I make a lot of my own products. So Vicks, lotions, which we, we use other products. But I tend to try and make a lot of our own products. Um, I made a lip gloss my mother-in-law loves. So things like that. And then back on to that. Um, I, for teachers, instead of buying gifts, um, I make them. So... Um, I made them little, um, I saved the baby food jars, and I made like hot cocoa things and lotions and things like that. So for gifts, I try to make them instead of spending money. Um, I don't buy expensive clothing or purses, so I'm not in the trend of what all these other women are. I hardly buy myself anything, um, but I do treat myself. 
time to time um, for nails. I'll um, try, I'll do my own nails, which they're horrible right now, but I will treat myself to a spa maybe twice a year. So I don't go get my feet done like everyone else. I do it myself. I'll get products from either the Dollar Tree or research how to make my own and um, do all that myself to um, save us money. So I'm not like some of you girls who will go every week or every two weeks. Um, I will wax my own eyebrows, um, things like that. And let's see here. Also, um, this is a big one. Like right now my laundry's going and the reason why it's going is because it's cold outside. Um... But during the summer months, I will do my laundry at night so um, it doesn't make the house, uh, apartment too hot. During the winter months, I, right when I wake up in the morning, um, I'll throw the clothes in the dryer immediately. And that way it kind of warms up the apartment. So instead of turning on the heater right away, um, I will utilize uh, my washer and dryer and a uh, oven as well as as best I can and then I also use natural sunlight if you come over during the day you will see blinds open or candles going I rarely rarely use um, lights um, even when I'm cooking dinner I will just have the stove light on I won't have the big light on or anything and then I'll use a lot of candles so I've gotten our power bill from um, almost two hundred dollars to sixty dollars so um, I try my best. It always fluctuates, you know, between $20, but I do try my best to save where I can since I'm at home all the time and I tend to use the, the, um, you know, AC or things like that. And that's another thing for the AC. I will try and use fans. So, um, I try not to use as much electricity until the kids and everyone gets home. So let me see here. I think that would be about it. Um, so that's it. That's all I have on here um, so far. But I just wanted to do a quick video. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, please comment below. Subscribe and like this video. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.